Welcome back folks, we're back on the Borders Burn where we were last week and I had such an enjoyable time, it was quite productive, I thought I'd come back, so we're about 400 metres further upstream, I thought I'd come up and see if I could get nearer to the source, so just up there is a, a quite a sizeable stream branching off, the main course goes up that way. So just below a confluence is always a good thing. We've got some bedrock with crevicing to be done, which I'll come back to later. River comes straight hammering down here. It's quite a straight stretch, but before I get going on the crevicing, there's the sluice set up waiting to be filled. Before we get crevicing, there are some decent sized boulders on this bank of the river, the burn sorry. So I think I'm going to have a little poke around behind some of these boulders, like this one. There's a bit of a material underneath that and I'll report back to you when I've dug it out. So here's what we've got, first half bucket, quite a mix of colours there. So there was interesting geology around here and I just found this stone, loads of big pieces of quartz on it. I'm not sure if that's, if that's sort of um, an accretion to the, the larger stone or if it's Actually, the uh, the remnants of a conglomerate of some description looks a bit like the grit stone you get in Kinder Scout in the Peak District to me, but uh, it's not from there. So we'll uh, we'll give this a wash through the sluice and see what happens. Sluice wasn't working very well when I set it up, but I've had to build the usual little dam wall to get it flowing properly. It just about has enough angle on it, but it just wasn't getting enough water to clear the, the drop mat off. It's working okay now, not super fast though. Anyway, this is the uh, perhaps the last bucket I'll bring out from under that rock. I don't think there's anything there but I'll let you know and I think I might move on to the crevicing. Well we can book the private jet when we get home because there are a couple, oops got the finger out of the way, there are a couple of tiny little golden flakes. You can probably just about pick them out if you've, if you've got really good eyesight. They're in there. Anyway, I'm going to go and do some crevice in, I think. Okay, fortified with some lunch. I've replaced the uh, sluice. Just put a few handfuls of gravel through it, see if it works. And it fires through like a howitzer. It's wonderful. So we're just a bit further upstream than the boulders. And I think I showed you this earlier. It's very, very leafy. Paginated, I think is the word. Paginated rock. Look at that. It's just vertical, flaking and full of clay. So we're going to have some of that, a bit like we did last week. Leave that alone. That's the bank. But we'll clean out some of these grooves. I've got my eye on this one. That looks proper, properly jammed in that. So that's what you're looking for jammed in the crack. So I'll report back on that one. Okay we um, gave that big gully crack a good cleaning out, filled it back in now. Nice little bits of uh, clay gouge in the bottom of it. 
or clay accumulations we've cleaned out the sluice and not a lot it's got to be said but again you get something when you come here it seems if we can get it into focus there we go you can see the colour gold even if it won't focus anyway that was quite a lot of um, digging out of there for those two little specks maybe three little specks so we'll try and find somewhere else. I may go back down to the, um, my first spot from last week and have another dabble there. We'll see. Well, here's where I was. A marks the spot. There's the little tributary coming in. And um, we were just underneath our pylon that we saw in the last video. Anyway, that, that didn't really give me much joy. So I think... I go back downstream to this rocky area. This is meant to signify rocks. So it was in between two pools and I had a nice chunky um, dinger out of there last week. So I think I'm going to go back there or I think maybe the source of the decent gold is somewhere in between where I was yesterday and where I was the week before. So I'm going to try sort of somewhere down in the middle, I think, next time and see if there's much more joy. Maybe there's a few rocks here, so I'll try that. I'll, I'll report back in my next video.